everybody, welcome back to Pro-Am Outdoors. Today I got a really cool DIY project for you. I have this kayak trailer that I've had for a couple of years now and it's just a piece of junk and I want to make it a nice one. So my buddy Robert Hendricks, which you've seen on videos before, and I said, you know what, my kayak trailer don't have any fender wells and I need fender wells for it. And I've been looking online and everything that's online has been around 50, 60, 70 dollars if you're going to go with metal fender wells. Well, he told me, hey, why don't you get some C-channel purlings for metal buildings? They're really inexpensive, and you can try to get something like that, maybe find one in junk pile. Well, the other day, I had a really smart idea to say, hey, let me just go down the road right here to Metal Mart. So I went down there and pulled into Metal Mart and walked in and talked to this really awesome lady. And I told her what I'm doing is working on a kayak trailer. Well, she also showed me on this rack where they had 6-inch, 10-inch, and 12 inch we went outside went to the pile and she pulled out the 8 inch c channel curling and i told her i need two sizes that are two foot each guess what she even helped me cut the pieces up and then she went went inside and i went and got a cutoff wheel also and then by the time she got done less than ten dollars So now we've got the kayak trailer inside. We're gonna go ahead and get these fender wells started for less than $10. I'm still tickled about that. So I can have fender wells finally on my kayak trailer. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and measure this out. We're gonna get it cut. We're gonna do some different angles. First, we're gonna need a tape measure. We're gonna need a speed square. We're gonna go six inches. I'm gonna do six inches here because this is two foot and six inches which leaves me a foot over top and two going down so it should be plenty wide enough for coming down so on this edge right here what i want to do is go ahead and mark it a little bit better now what we're wanting to do is mark this out at a 22 and a half degree angle so we can cut this I'm going to do this for both sides. Now the reason I'm using 22 and a half because once you cut both sides like that, it should turn it into a 45 degree angle. Okay, so we got them all marked up. Now what we got to do is put this cut off wheel onto the deal and start cutting on it. Okay, as you can see, we got one side already done. Didn't take long at all. We're gonna do go ahead and do all the sides and we'll show you how we bend this up to make some fender wells. Real simple and easy. <laughs> Okay, so what I got set up is I got a two by four or two by six cut sideways to fill all the way across the gap here and here. So we're gonna try to attempt to bend this using these boards as blocks like a bending vise. And we're gonna see if it works. We got a device and we'll find out. So we're gonna pull it down and see if it bends. Well, I'm hoping it will. Get just about right. We'll turn around and do the other side, but we need to get it bent a little bit more. All right, we're gonna do the other side now. Okay, so we bent that piece right there. My dad's putting a clamp on it. So what I'm gonna to have to do is grind it just a little bit to hold the well. We're just gonna tack it on the inside. I'm not worried about 
getting a bead all the way down just on the inside so it doesn't flex or come apart. I'm not going to show the welding because it could hurt the sensor of my camera. So I'm not much of a welder, but I got it done. If you have a friend, go get them welded. But I just did it where it was tacked on like that a little bit. Tried to do it on the inside, blew them out a little bit. But just tacked on so that it'd be more solid. Now they're solid. No big deal. Just a little, couple little tacks and you'll get that done. And I'm going to show you here in just a second how you put this on uh, over the wheel well and how we're going to put it together. Well, I'm back here working on the kayak trailer. But now we're going to go ahead and tear the trailer apart and be able to put these fenders on here. The thing is, this part right here is in the way and it's a folding trailer. So we're going to go ahead and take these parts off and then we're going to uh, drill holes into the fenders and we're going to put them on here. But we're going to make this a solid permanent trailer. So now we got this bracket off. This is the hinge that made this thing fold up and down. And we don't want it folding no more. Okay, so these bolts aren't big enough to here, but the two frames are where there's uh, holes here. If I just go ahead and put a bolt here and then one here, this shouldn't go anywhere. But for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and put this frame together right here. Put a bolt in this way. And we'll just put it on right here. All right. That shouldn't go anywhere. It's going to be good and strong. Okay, that's the height I'm going to want. Okay, so what's going to happen is the bottom right here is going to line up with the bottom of this rail here and then I'll be able to put my bolts in that way. So centered, it's gonna be right here. Now, we need to measure center on here, which I know this is one foot, so it's gonna be six inches from that mark. Okay, so here's what I've done. So mark the spot out right here where the bolts are gonna go. And I just need to do it even on both sides. We'll drill this first and then we'll line it up for the trailer and mark it out for the trailer, then drill it there so we make sure we're accurate. Three quarters of an inch centered. Three quarters of an inch and we'll do it centered. It should be right there. So let's take this over to the vise and get it uh, drilled out. And that was three quarters inch center. Right there. Alright. Now we got this side and this side already with the holes right here. And we're gonna go ahead and drill this right now. Starting out with a smaller bit and then work our way to the bigger bit.
Okay, so now we got our two holes drilled. We can go over and mark these. And then now we're going to take this over there and we're going to hold it up, mark it out where we need to drill into the trailer. Doing the same thing. Now you can weld these on. I decided not to just because I don't want to weld them more because I suck at it. <laughs> this may be where you're going to need to get another hand to help you out. Hold it up so I can mark it. So let me go get my pops. All right, so I got my pops in here. He's always a smart one. It says once we hold it up, go ahead and clamp it. So why don't we just put some of these clamps on here to hold it and get it marked out. It may help you out of just a little bit better. You got a centered pops. Mm -hmm. Alright. There's one. You just got it centered right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's centered. Alright. Centered, we're good to go. Yeah, it move. yeah, I'm taking it off now. Oh, okay. Oh, you marked it. Yeah. Okay. Now, as you can see, I got the marks right there and there. All I got to do is drill them out and we'll put the bolts to it. Okay, so now that I got the holes drilled out here, we're gonna to try to dry fit this and see if it works. And we're just gonna take the same nuts and bolts that we pulled out for the bracketing system, for the hinge system, and see if it works. We're just gonna see how, what it looks like. If everything works out right, it should just go right back in the same place. And I'm just gonna temporarily tighten it up. solid too so I don't think it's gonna be something I'd step on but if I do I don't think it's gonna hurt anything I could put another bolt up here uh, through this way it was stiff it up probably where you could step on it but the main thing it looks good it's the right height I can work with it and so now it's dry fitted but I'm gonna go ahead and take it off because I want to go ahead and paint this thing black All right, it's gonna fit really well. So now I got that one done. I'm gonna go over here to the other side and go ahead and drill the holes, get everything ready for the other fender. Okay, so we got both of these done, already test fitted. Now all we gotta do is take these to paint and uh, we'll put them on for you. What I'm going to go do is I'm going to go ahead and do two coats of paint on this. Just do it lightly at first. That way you won't have runs. That's what it'll look like. And then you just keep adding a couple of coats to it and thicken it up. Without getting runs, do light coats. That's the best way to do that. Okay, so now that we got these painted, been a few hours. Let them sit for a few hours better to do it overnight. Got it looking really good. We're going to go ahead and put these on. But... First, I want to explain to you what I'm doing with this trailer so that you'll understand why I'm doing this. I love doing DIY stuff. You've seen a few of my videos. If you hadn't, go back and look at my videos. I've got a lot of DIYs out there. But the thing is, I want to make this an awesome kayak trailer the way I want it. And I've been using this trailer with the old crusty wood on it. And I just put some two by sixes across. 
put the kayaks on, strap them down. I've been going around doing that for about a year, but I've really been wanting to break this trailer down. And this is a four by eight trailer, so I'm gonna put a four by eight sheet of heavy three quarter inch, super weather resistant. Got it from Lowe's. And uh, we're gonna build it up. I'm gonna clean this trailer up. I'm gonna take bolts off of it. I'm gonna do all kinds of stuff to it because I'm gonna have PVC pipe for the kayak trailers to slide off and do all kinds of stuff. It's gonna be pretty neat. So make sure that you subscribe and watch this channel as we progressively, a couple of shows, build this trailer out to an awesome, awesome DIY kayak trailer. Okay, so the thing we're gonna do is go ahead and use the same bolts and nuts that they came with on the trailer, taking the other parts off. We're just gonna go ahead and slap these on right now. Put the other one on. Now that we got this outside, you can really see how nice it looks. You got the angles just right, the fitting's good, it's solid as a rock. Uh, probably not good enough to step on, but you know what? It's a really good solid start for a really good fender well. You can do this on any trailer for less than $10 is what I pay for these pieces. You got dual axle, you could probably extend it even longer. Hey, this is a really good DIY project for you. Try it out, you may save a lot of money and have fun doing it too. But you know what? This looks too good, the rest of the trailer looks like crap. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so that you can see when I'm gonna do the rest of the build out on this kayak trailer. So we'll see you next time here on Pro-Am Outdoors.